Hello to you my friends, I hope you're all doing really well. Um, this is not the usual type of video I do on my YouTube channel. This is kind of a vlog, sort of off the cuff video. I'm a little bit unprepared as you can probably tell. Um, I do do a lot of these type of videos on my Patreon channel, you know, sort of behind the scenes type videos. But I thought I would do one today for YouTube and that is because I've just received Martin Gore's new solo album, uh, MG, The Third Chimpanzee. And this is an album I've been anticipating a long time as I'm sure a lot of you have as well and a lot of a lot of you keep asking me Vaughan have you heard it yet um, are you going to review it um, the answer to that is yes I will review it um, I obviously there was the chance to listen to the digital release it was released uh, on the 29th of January I think but I resisted that because I wanted to just like in the old days I wanted to buy the vinyl and unbox it which I'm going to do with you here and once I've listened to it and absorbed it, I will then do a follow-up video on this, you know, where we will review it. But initially, I just want to unbox it with you. So I did go online initially to mute to try and purchase this, and I was shocked. Well, I shouldn't be surprised, but it was all sold out. So I, I always prefer, you know, supporting independent little uh, industries. But anyway, I ended up having to buy it from Amazon. Yeah. Um, but... In their defense, my God, speak about good packaging. I mean, talking about eco-friendly and saving the planet and all that kind of stuff, but my God, I think Amazon do really make it their priority to ensure that your your product gets to you in A1 condition. And I mean, I have never received a vinyl in the in a box this size. Anyway, uh, this, uh, so you open this massive box and then you get you know, loads of this stuff inside. And then oh, you dig inside, ah, and then you get something which looks more like, let me just put this down, and that looks more like a, you know, a usual vinyl uh, packaging. And, of course, you open it up, and here we have it. Now, initial, um, it just looks absolutely beautiful. Now, I have intentionally not done much research into this project because I really want to sort of pay homage to the old days, you know, when you'd get a vinyl, you'd hear one song. I have heard the first track he dropped, which was called, was it Howler? I think it was Howler, yeah. Just like in the good old days when you were anticipating a new record from your favorite artist, you would obviously hear the song on the radio and then you would go out and buy the vinyl. And very often uh, you would then have heard all the songs for the first time. So that's exactly what I wanted to do with this record. I, I'd heard The Howler on YouTube, but I resisted listening to any other tracks until I can give it its first uh, listen on vinyl. Right, so I'm going to unwrap it now. And while I'm doing that, uh, I want to say that I read somewhere online, once again, I haven't researched this, um, is that apparently the artwork for this was done by a chimpanzee. Is that true? Um, I, I just saw something about a, chimp a chimpanzee somewhere in, you know, in California, um, obviously close to where Martin lives. He lives in Santa Barbara. And there is a chimpanzee apparently there who, you know, does this kind of artwork. So uh, I, whether that's true or not, I don't know. But um, as I say, I haven't, I've intentionally not done any research into this because I really want to experience this, you know, for real as we did back in the old days. Okay, so peeling the plastic off. You guys know I always do this. Oh, people always think I'm weird when I sniff things, but sniff, smell things. But it's just, you know, smelling is one of the, is one of the senses. And I just love smelling vinyl. It's just, oh, oh, we've got, oh, well, that's great. Look at that. I do really, really like this. As I say, the first time I heard of uh, Martin releasing this album, I saw this pic, this picture was everywhere online and I, I just think it's absolutely awesome. It's just really, really cool. Absolutely love it. Very artsy, but awesome. Okay, so we pull this out and we've got a black, obviously, obviously there's no lyrics in here. This is an instrumental album. Oh, let's just dropped something there. Martin Gore, the third chimpanzee. Please note this wonderful new EP plays at, oh wow, check this out. Please note that this wonderful new EP plays at side A plays at 45 RPM and side B plays at 33 RPM. We hope you enjoy it and don't forget to download your digital copy. Now, 
Pardon my ignorance, I have never in all my years come across a vinyl that plays on two different speeds on two different sides. Have you ever come across that before? I can't believe this. So side A is at 45 RPM and side B is at 33 RPM. Um, wow, I've never... Have you experienced that? That's just mind-blowing. Just check this out. I don't know if you can see that. That is just absolutely mind-blowing. Um, yeah, anyway, let's not get distracted, but that does make sense. So let's have a look at the actual vinyl. I believe it's blue. Don't touch the vinyl. Oh, that's a, my favorite color is blue. That is a really nice color. I'll try not to drop it. Wow, look at that. That is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Oh, excuse me. Ah, oh, the smell of vinyl. Now, apparently, and something we can geek out, because you guys know that my label, Agro Monkey Records, is now going to press and distribute Gareth Jones's debut album, Electrogenetic. Um, and we've been doing a lot of research into colored vinyl. And um, as I say, I love vinyl, but when you actually come to pressing your own vinyls, you tend to learn things about the process, which it's a very in-depth process. And uh, the point I'm trying to make is, is that apparently, apparently, colored vinyl can sound less um, high quality than black vinyl. I don't know how true that is, and that is something I'm busy researching at the moment. That is indeed something you can comment on in the description below. But yeah, this this looks amazing. So um, should we, I'll tell you what, let's, uh, let's put the first track on, shall we? Right, so here's an angle you don't often see me at. I'm at my turntable here, and we're going to um, put this on for the first time. Break its virginity. <laughs> Ah, one more smell for luck. I know it's creepy, but I just love doing it. Right, so let's put on, is it side A or side B? Okay, yeah. It's just because some vinyls have a side one and a side two. I prefer side A and side B because I'm old school. Right, let's put this baby on. Oh, this is exciting. I'm glad to be able to share this with you. Now, which is side A? Mr. MG. <laughs> Let's just tell, actually. Excuse me for a moment. Okay, we got there in the end. Um, Howler's the first track, so I assume that's uh, side A, because I can't actually see an A and a B on here. But in typical Depeche Mode style, that is always... They always respect their their listeners, and they kind of just... It's, it's like putting hidden tracks in, 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 in records. I always found that was strange, but they they really make you think and they respect their audience and know that their audiences are not dumb asses like some artists out there. <laughs> right, so this is side A and side A is at 45 RPM. That is strange, man. And then on side B, you play at 33 RPM. Anyway, let's fire this up, shall we? Okay. Okay, start the vinyl. I'll just line it up. Oh, the, the, oh I, I can't tell you this is my favorite part, just the anticipation of hearing the, 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 the clicks and just start the tape, Vaughan. Ooh. Ooh. That's very Depeche Mode. It's very Delta Machine. Very Delta Machine. Fanboy alert! Fanboy alert! <laughs>
So I will now indulge in this. Um, I'm really, really excited. I'm really going to enjoy this, I know. From my initial listen there, wow, it sounds amazing. But I do want to sort of hear it. I'm going to put it into my, my main system there and listen to, through my main sort of my, my main room speakers um, so I can sort of really, really enjoy it. But for now, I'm going to pop some headphones on and really enjoy this. So um, leave your comments in the description below. Have you actually purchased this yet? Um, what are your feelings? I know um, my initial um, feelings, I, I did put a video out a while ago, and that is this one, where I spoke about Martin Gore releasing a new album. And I was disappointed to learn that it was a techno album, or, or sorry, an electronic album. Um, and although I did enjoy VC, MG, and MG, I was hoping that Martin was going to release a album where he sings, you know, because because Martin's not only a great songwriter, he's an amazing singer, and it's just, you know, I always feel that when he's not singing, he's not using one of his his greatest assets. But anyway, I'm glad that he's still producing. I'm glad to hear this. I'm really going to enjoy this. And once I've listened to it, I will come back and give a full review. But for now, just let me know in the comments in the description below. Have you got this? Are you planning to get it? Have you heard it? Or are you listening to it? Or anything you'd like to say about this, this record? Let us know. But for now, my friends, I will leave you to it. And I will see you on the next video. Adios.